morning, everyone. How are you doing today? I'm LaDonna from Faith, Family, and Miracles, and you're probably wondering why I have a man sitting with me for a ladies' community, but this is my husband, Blake. Hey, everybody. <laughs> and um, at the end of last year, Blake and I were invited to do a money management class for um, a group in our church. And it went so, so well. We were so encouraged. And just through that money management session, we saw God begin to do so many things in a short amount of time. And so I told Blake, I said, I want to share the things that God has shown us throughout these years. And I want to share what we shared. Um, I want to share with you guys what we shared with the group in our church. So, I brought him along because he is such a good teacher. As he was standing up doing his part of the sessions, I was just like, oh, my husband is doing so good. And so, I said, I asked him if he would mind coming along in a ladies' community. I'm sorry. <laughs> get over it. <laughs> and, um, and kind of explain... Um, the way he taught the um, sessions in um, our church last year. And what we're going to do is go, we're going to break some things down. But guys, I'm telling you, in the past several, several years, God has done so much in our finances. He has done, he has taught us so much. And it would be so sad if we did not share this with you. It would be so sad if we just kept this to ourselves. And so I pray that as we're talking just in these the videos that we do in the future, the video that we're doing today, I just pray that you grasp a hold of it and that you allow God to move in your finances, okay? So Blake, start going over some things um, that we've talked about in the sessions that we did. Um, today we're going to talk about the emergency fund and how to start one. Um, and kind of why it's important to have one uh, and how that's going to help in your financial freedom journey. Right, right. Um, and your goal to be debt-free and, and be able to make the choices that you want to make uh, in your life. So just let's talk about an emergency fund and, and just go down right to the basics um, that what an emergency fund is. Mm -hmm. uh, for those that don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a cash reserve that specifically set aside just for the unplanned expenses, just mm -hmm. for emergencies um, that require some, some money, some financial things. Um, common things that come up that we often don't have access to funds for, it, our car breaks down. Mm -hmm. We have uh, an appliance or our air conditioner in our home or heater goes, uh, goes out and, oh no, I need several thousand dollars to fix something it's not it's not a quick fix it's not something that's a hundred dollars here or there right. it's it's a medical bill it, you had to go to the emergency room and all of a sudden you get a surprise bill that happens all the time well even um last year we had a hot water heater go out and if we had um, the plumbers come and check it first so that was money that we had to spend and then it just went completely out like within the next two weeks of them fixing it. And then so that those are just things that you never think of. It is it's quite expensive to replace a hot water heater. I know several years ago, we had a dishwasher to go out. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, what? Now the dishwasher now, I did wash by hand for a little while <laughs> until we got that replaced. But these are things that... Um, you just don't think about that could just stop in an instant. And that's why it's so important to have this emergency fund set aside. It, and no matter how hard you try to avoid these expenses, there's yeah. also there's always going to be unexpected so uh, true. expenses. And there, there's two types of, of kind of unexpected um, expenses. Or, or dis, I call them disruptive expenses. They, mm -hmm. they, they wreck your budget. Um, Again, parking tickets, uh, speeding tickets, uh, car trouble, 
uh, appliances going out in your in your house, Une unexpected medical bills, yeah. uh, even things that are kind of expected, but you know somebody's birthday comes up or uh, you know holiday gifts and, and vacations that you want to go on. Those are things that you know it's best to prepare for these things and set aside just a little something to um, make sure you're fully prepared and and able to meet those expenses and not have a stressful moment. Oh, where am I going to get these funds from? Am I going to have to borrow money? Am I going to put it on a yeah. credit card? Yeah. Uh, things that can uh, really wreck your budget. Um, you know, and putting on a credit card or borrowing is something that we want to prevent. We don't want to um, just say, oh, well, I've got a credit card and let me just swipe it. That's We want to try to transition ourselves away from depending on a credit card as much. And the reason we want to address this probably on, on even just day one is it's probably the one of the first keys and yeah. most important keys to getting your, your financial life in order is yes. to is to not have to go back and and restart over because you had an unexpected uh, you're doing good and then something yeah. hits and well it didn't you know, I was trying to do something else, and here I've got this unexpected expense. Uh, so this will help uh, with our savings goals. This will help with our, our debt. Um, this will help us stay out of that place where we have to continually put things on, on credit cards. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is for a dire emergency. It's for a broken appliance. It's for car trouble. It's for. It's not for eating out. Not for vacation. <laughs> it's not for vacation. <laughs> so you want, how bad we want to go to the beach this year? Yeah. Uh, it, it's just not for that. So, so people ask Blake, how do how do I start an emergency fund? I I don't have a thousand dollars. I don't yeah. have two. You know, they recommend, you know, a, a lot of money to put mm -hmm. back in a, an emergency fund. I have no extra money right now. So. Uh, here are just some things that we can do each each time to try to get one started, okay? Uh, number one, start small. Mm -hmm. um, the easiest way to do it is to get your, your paycheck, uh, get whoever direct deposits your paycheck to put aside a little amount, I don't care if it's $15, $20, $25, yeah. into a separate account each paycheck yeah. um, it's easy to spend money it's easy to spend money when you have it in your paycheck and it's easy not to miss it if it's not there so if it's automatically done where you never see it and it automatically gets deposited in to some other savings account or so, a different we have yeah. checking accounts at all over the town oh, yeah. uh, for different savings and different funds that we try to do so but you'd be amazed um, just even how much you know fifteen dollars per paycheck adds up or twenty five dollars per paycheck if, it's amazing how much it does add up over if you can't do it by direct deposit put it in an envelope and and put it where maybe both of your <laughs> both of your partners know where it we is so that, too. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, you know you're not going to sneak in a little money out for yeah. to eat out or go on vacation mm -hmm. or something so start small even if it's ten dollars put something back just for an emergency start emergency fund make a budget Know where your money's going. We had to do this just the other day. Sit down yeah. and go over and find out where's all oh, yeah. our money going, um, and what what can we cut back on? What can we? Uh, what kind of subscription services are we do we have that maybe we're not watching? Or the up channel had to go. <laughs> I'll try to make it the Hallmark channel, but it, she she put an X on it. So. Not happening. <laughs> uh, <sighs> save unexpected income. You know we all got or pretty much everybody got. Uh, stimulus funds over the last yeah. year, uh, tax returns. Uh, we got the, the child credit uh, was came to us um, in the last part of last year, and so those were unexpected funds. So you, you work a little overtime, and oh, you got a little extra in your check, and you it's easy to go. Oh, I, I can go get a new pair of shoes or a, a new uh, TV or a new whatever it. I would recommend taking that little extra that you made in overtime. Maybe you can pick up some extra shifts or extra hours mm -hmm. and stick that extra back just to create a uh, an emergency fund. So overtime pay. Every little bit counts. Uh, figure out how much you want your emergency 
uh, fun to be. Um, they recommend you at least start with a thousand dollars. I know that's hard, but if you start with a hundred and just put fifteen dollars in it every paycheck, it's better than better than not better having than a nothing. from it. That's right. Um, that's right. Don't use the same checking account that you take your normal living uh, everyday expenses out of. Don't, don't do that. Um, have a yard sale. Sell some stuff that you don't wear, that you don't use anymore. Um, you know, some extra, uh, just a little bit of funds that you can sell on the marketplace or eBay. Yeah, or even something. selling on Facebook is very popular right now. So if your community does that, put some things on Facebook and see if you can sell it. Um, take on a little side hustle. I mean, yeah. almost everybody nowadays has something. They cater or they um, um, do yard work or they, mm-hmm. you know, they clean houses or yeah. something. Yeah. Take take on a little extra work. And I know that's not convenient and not uh, not uh, always enjoyable, but um, it, it's important to to get this to get our financial uh, affairs in mm-hmm. order. So. I have a friend that um, she has a regular job, but aside from her regular job, she does, um, she plans birthday parties, bridal showers, um, like baby reveal showers and things like that. And that sounds like so much fun to me. That's just a little extra. People pay her to just take care of everything and something that could be so simple, but um, bring in a little extra cash. That's that sounds fun to me. This is your safety net. You're, you're walking a tight wire. Uh, think of a tight tight wire walker, and and there's a net under you. So if something happens, you've got something to catch you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's the best way to look at it. That's so true. Thank you for sharing that oh, with yeah, us. Y'all, isn't he the sweetest? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like me doting on him. So listen, um, we have seen God do so much. And even in um, the Faith Family and Miracles community, um, I have had so many women, just from me talking about finances here and there, and just how God can move through your finances, I've had so many women email me and tell me um, how much God has done for them through things that I have mentioned. And one thing that I have is the prayer for abundance and um, it's a prayer for abundance and blessings. And I am going to put the link for this and you can sign up to get it for free. This prayer is powerful. It's something that our church prays all the time. It's something that Blake and I printed off. We have it hanging up in our house. We pray over it. And a lot of it is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 28 is it, you're praying scripture. That's exactly what this is. And so if you want this, I will put the link and you can have this prayer. And um, I want you to email me. I want you to get in contact with me. Comment on Facebook, however you need to get in contact with me and let me know how much God is moving through your finances just with this prayer. I would say our, our church convocation uh, started this yeah. um, several years ago. Several years ago. years ago or something. And when this began, tens of thousands of blessings, people just kept yes. coming up and saying, yes. well, this started happening for me and I got this raise mm-hmm. and I, mm-hmm. I was able to sell my house for more than it was worth and um, I, I got this check in the mail and yeah. this gift and this yeah. surprise and it, it I don't. We started to try to add it up, and it, mm-hmm. it just became so much. I think so we much. lost track, but yeah. it, it was an incredible amount of money. So yes. it, it's proven that it works, and I would encourage you to to, to get that. And just but pray what it is, what it is, is that you're taking scripture and the word of God, and you're applying it to your life, and you're praying this over your life, and then you're believing it. And so when those things match together God does the unthinkable and I cannot wait to share some things in the next several videos I'm going to be sharing with you Blake and I are of things that God has done for us and things the Bible says that we are no respecter God is no respecter of persons so what he has done for two southern people (laughs) you know we're southern what he's done for two southern people from Arkansas he can do for for somebody in California, somebody in New York, somebody in North Carolina, 
wherever. He can do it for you too. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you later. Thanks, Bye. Much.